Welcome to this service of morning prayer on this, the fourth Sunday of Easter, as well it is the Sunday that is traditionally referred to as Good Shepherd Sunday, and we are at St. Mark's today, and of course it is St. Mark's Feast Day. Thank you for being with us as we explore our creation, God's creation, outside of our building during this period of COVID. And today, particularly, you will be experiencing some of the ministries of St. Mark's, including the food bank drive from last week. Thank you to everyone who was able to participate. And we will be spending some time in St. Mark's Memorial Garden for our worship. And you will hear a little bit about what St. Mark's Memorial Garden is all about from one of the wardens, Neil. Thank you. Yeah, so we planned this about um, a little over 20 years ago, this garden. And what prompted you to plant this? Um, well, there was a boy who died in our church. Oh. He, got, he got cancer. Yes. He was 10 years old. Oh. And it was kind of memory of him okay it was it was inspired by him and um, and then the church got a grant of five hundred dollars from I'm not even sure who but uh, it was to do something interesting so they funded this card cool. one thing I have asked of the Lord this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. We continue with this prayer from the Northumbrian community, a declaration of faith. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. A reading from John, chapter 10, verses 11 to 18. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd, 
and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a picture that I took when Barry and I went to the island of Ilona in Scotland in 2019. And uh, it shows some gates that were there to help keep the sheep safe. And if you look, I mean, one of the things you need to do is keep them from going into the ocean and getting caught during high tide. But if you look at this picture really closely, look at you can even see a little bit of the sheep's uh, fluff, wool stuck on that piece of barbed wire. The sheep pretty much have a free roam of the entire island other than those odd gates that are put up to keep them from going into the ocean and drowning. And there's a few places where there are crops and uh, there, are, there are fences to keep them out of those. But other than that, they even have full roam of the golf course and they keep it groomed. the shepherd's voice and have we responded have we listened do we have the faith to climb those mountains and the fields to follow holy spirit's direction on our lives do we see that many of the things that we do or directly respond to in god's mission in this world is a result of hearing the shepherd's voice 
in the video of this week's online service, for those of you who are able to see it, we saw Neil Dunning talking about how and why the St. Mark's Memorial Garden was started. And we saw pictures of those working at the drive through collection for the food bank, where food and juices and money were collected for the Bramford Food Bank and for the work of the Blessing Center. Now, these are all, um, whether we recognize them or not, responses to the shepherd calling. What if we were to open our hearts and our minds continuously to listen to what God is calling us to next? Sometimes that call can be small, something like calling, phoning somebody that might be struggling. We might not even know they're struggling, but somehow this niggling to give somebody a call might result in finding out that they were having a really hard time and, and, and they needed you. Oh, that's Holy Spirit nudging us along. And sometimes it's for something that's much, much larger. But they're all important. They're all the work of Holy Spirit. What if, as you go about your tasks this week, you think about when Holy Spirit has made Holy Spirit aware made you aware that Holy Spirit was nudging you and think about things that you have done when you've heard the shepherd's voice. Have you responded and, and how have you responded and will you respond and will you open your heart and your mind in the days and the weeks ahead, in the minutes ahead to where you are being called? Do you recognize our shepherd's voice? Thank you. And now let us pray with Deacon John Ogilvy on this, the Feast of St. Mark's. We offer thanks that you have permitted us to worship in St. Mark's. We are pleased to celebrate our patron saint on this day and for all the love and power that radiates from this place. St. Mark's calling. Almighty God, by the hand of Mark the evangelist, you gave to your church the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We thank you for his witness. And we pray that we may be grounded firmly in his truth through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. O God of light eternal, whose love and power the world took shape, and we are born, and we live our lives, and we die, grant us now the silence of the heart in which we can recall that which never separates us from the love which created us, nor from the love that surrounds our sufferings. Bring us now into the presence and let us be strengthened here. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. O Lord our God, who fashioned the church from a scattered brand of disciples and gave it power to endure, we pray for this same movement band of uncertain but hopeful people, the Holy Catholic Church in all its branches. We ask that it be grafted anew to your will for this world and our time within it. May this fellowship be free enough to live with the world and not just the world. May it be a sign of your kingdom of justice, peace, and love. Quicken its love, we pray, and its life, so that men and women everywhere may look upon it and see the vitality and purpose come to understand better their own common destiny through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
O Creator God, whose will welcomes of spirit and health a body for all the children, hear us, we pray, for all who stand in special need of your blessing. From those chronically ill to whom have no hope of body, strength can be given. Bless them with your presence and strengthen of the spirit to rise above the reason for despair into higher hope. For all who seek in earnest and do not find you, teach them to see your hand in common things that surround them and your face in the face of Jesus Christ. For all who lack food and shelter, may our daily conflicts chafe us and move us to share more and more for those whose special needs we know. Visit them as they needs, visit them as their needs through the ministry of Jesus Christ. More for those whose special needs we know. Visit them as they needs, visit them as their needs through the ministry of Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God Almighty, bless us with your Holy Spirit. Guard us in our going out and our coming in. Keep us steadfast in faith, free from sin, safe from danger. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This week's weather has changed significantly, and here on Wednesday is the taping of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May God guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May God bring you home rejoicing at the wonders you have been shown. Amen. Amen.